Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we begin, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8. The link is in the description. Okay, so click X to delete the default cube. Then go to Add, Mesh, and Add a Plane. Click S to scale. And then let's go into the Physics, and add the Collision Physics. And then we need to add the uh, sphere, so go to add, mesh, and then add a UV sphere. And to increase the simulation speed, let's uh, cut the amount of segments and rings in half, so let's set it to 16 and 8. And I click G, then set to grab the sphere on the z-axis. And then let's add a modifier as well. So add modifier and subdivision surface modifier, and then let's set the amount of subdivisions to 3. And uh, then for the object, let's add smooth shading as well. Okay, so let's go into the uh, physics settings. Add soft body. Okay, so let's disable goal. And uh, then let's set the uh, bending value to 5, which is how the uh, vertices interact in the simulation. And then let's bake the simulation under cache. So as you can see, we have the uh, simulation. And now it's time to set up the lighting and the render settings. So let's start off by selecting the light source and uh, go into rendered view. And then let's switch to cycles for a better looking render. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's set the amount of samples in the viewport and the render to 200. If you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size as well. If not, just uh, set it to 64 if you have a uh, CPU. And then let's also make sure that we have different seeds for each frame. So uh, enable this button, and then let's go into the uh, light settings. Let's change the light source into a sun, and then let's decrease the strength to uh, 15. And then let's add uh, a material for the sphere. So uh, select the sphere, go into the materials, click new to add a new material. Let's use the diffuse shader. And then let's make the uh, sphere blue, for example. You can obviously add whatever color you want, so uh, I'm just going to select blue. Okay. And then you can also hide the overlay to see what it looks like without the uh, grid. And click number zero to look through the camera. And then click N and uh, lock the camera to view. And then let's also make sure that the uh, ball is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation. So a bit higher. Then I'm also going to select the uh, sun. And I click R, then set to rotate the sun on the Z axis. And that way you can move the shadow of the ball. So I think that looks a bit better. And now the next step of the tutorial is to uh, get into the output settings for the file and render. So uh, go to the output settings. And then let's change the frame rate to 30. And then let's set the file format to AVR JPEG and increase the quality to 100%. And for the output, let's uh, select a folder. You can choose whatever folder you want on the computer. And then give the animation a name. And then click Enter. Now, the last part of this tutorial is to render. And this is probably going to take a few hours. So uh, go up to Render. And then click Render Animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.